What's good, friends? I'm the one they call Loser, and you're watching Just a Soul Loser. Welcome back to Loser Plays Cattails. Um, actually, I did a bit uh, off screen today, and uh, this is probably the first time I've done something off screen. But uh, I started to record me hunting the animals that we needed because we still needed a few animals. We needed uh, two, mal two mice, a uh, rabbit, and, and oh my god, was that rabbit hard ca to catch. It took me, that took me forever. It took me like 10 minutes alone to find a rabbit. Just to find one. And a squirrel. But um, we needed to hunt all those, and I didn't want to waste another episode. Not really waste, but I didn't want to spend another episode hunting. I wanted to spend another episode doing something. So I went out and I caught all the animals off screen. So we can see what happens. I have them all. What do I do? I have three mice. Look. Mouse. Mouse. Okay, I need to do it with each one. I didn't mean to do that. Hold. This is really annoying, but all right. There we go. Yeah, for some reason, it took me forever to find a rabbit. Like, I couldn't find one. I don't know if they're in, like, specific areas. Uh, the map doesn't necessarily tell me where to find animals. Like, where I'm going to find one animal compared to where I find another. And oh my god, I have a gray squirrel. Not a regular squirrel. Oh my god, it's not gonna count a gray squirrel, is it? Oh, it's not gonna count a gray squirrel. Ah! Oh! Alright. Let's eat this mouse. And pick up wherever that... The gray squirrel. It took the gray squirrel, it just didn't count it. You dick. Alright, let's go quickly. I thought I prepared everything off screen for, so you guys didn't have to see any hunting. I was wrong! Can I trek across this yet? Oh, I have the mighty, mighty kitty legs to do so. Oh, and this music is inspiring! Regular squirrel. Just in time for my agility to get back. I also upgraded my hunting and fighting one more time. Alright, that was easy. Much easier than I really anticipated it to be. I expected it to be harder. Because nothing actually works out for me that well. Back to the sacred temple music. Doom, doom, doom. I'm actually a little sad I didn't start this episode on the title screen because the title screen music is the most peaceful music. This is too, but it reminds me a lot of Minecraft. And for some reason I have like... When Minecraft music has this annoyance in the back of my head. Because, uh, my- it's just... Sorry. Um, fixing a brawl strap. I know, oh my god, I have one of those. How dare I? But, um, my nieces are obsessed with Minecraft. But the music always starts out blaring loud for some reason. Um, and so, like, all I imagine when I think of Minecraft is blaring loud Minecraft music. And I have- it just- No! I am! I knew I was going to do that with one of them! Damn it! That was incredibly easy to find that squirrel! Or my exact words, I didn't expect it to be that easy! I said... I don't want to spend another episode making you guys watch me hunt. That's what I said at the beginning. I'm at the 10 minute mark. This entire episode has been hunting. Yeah. So that was a fail. Sorry, I'll stop doing that now. I don't know how annoying it is because I can't hear it. I imagine it's as annoying as my voice is louder. And I assume my voice loud is annoying, because... Damn, my voice is annoying! Come here, squirrely squirrels. I just want to kill you and eat your young. I just want to sacrifice your young to... Uh, obelisk that may or may not be for Satan. Hi, Stacy. 
Yeah, why aren't we questioning these this Coco and this obelisk? Um, and why do the why don't the other animals have a conscience? Why is it just the cats that have feelings? These squirrels probably have feelings, and I'm just running around murdering them. But what makes me better than uh, the humans that abandoned me? Oh, actually, in fact, I'm worse than the humans that abandoned me because the humans didn't try to murder me. They just gave me up. I'm maliciously murdering these animals. Oh, yay, coin. Thanks, Stacy, for pooping a coin. <gasps> no! No! Fudge! You made me waste that! Now I have to, for the next 25 seconds, rely on my skill of killing animals. But yeah, so this cat, that may or may not be a figment of my imagination, we are going to believe, is... Because this cat randomly appears out of thin air, so I question the reality of such beings. Um, who also showed us the secret underground fortress that he said he doesn't show other people, other cats. Um, we're believing that he's real. We're believing that these underground obelisks, um, are going to help us. Uh, no, I'm not going towards that. And we also believe that, uh, we're not evil in any way. Like, we could just be insane. We could just be a murderous bastard because nobody else is hunting these animals. Savannah sells dead animals in the store, sure. But we don't see Savannah go out and hunt these animals. In fact, we're the only ones who go out and hunt. And the person who showed us how to hunt is that crazy figment of our imagination. So I'm just saying, I don't entirely know how great of a story this is on the surface. This, this could be actually dark and terrifying. And no one thought to question it. But then again, I am overthinking all of this, probably, but oh well. Ooh. We're not gonna fuck this up. We're not gonna fuck this up. We're gonna wait 17 seconds. We're gonna stay away. 15, 14. Now we go on the hunt. No, we're gonna. Ah, we got him! We got a squirrel, guys! We got a squirrel! Go away, Rosie. I have a fish to kill, and you're interrupting that! I really need to find an animal to kill soon. Rosie's still over there. Like a fucking bitch. Maybe I can eat this. I won't be able to get to that rabbit. Nope. I'm not sure if this is a game of running away from Rosie or... And why can't Ro... Why doesn't Rosie run out of swim power? Why is it just me? That bitch should be drowning right now. That's a logical game. Again, I'm selling a game, it's illogical. What are you gonna do if you catch me in the water? We can't fight in the water. What are you gonna do, just swim with me? You're being a camper, I believe. This is li the literal definition of a camper. No, you're being a stalker. I, I don't know why I said camper, you're being a stalker. This is the literal definition of a stalker. Come on. If there were any fish, it would be scared away immediately by Rosie's fat ass.
I'm now spending my time in the game when I already have a squirrel trying to find something, literally anything else to hunt, because I have 22% of hunger. Oh, this game is cruel to me. Which puts me at the 18 minute mark, by the way. You know, I chose the swamp and I have not done anything to get my swimming up. I chose the- I chose the train near the swamp, but my swimming is still shit. Oh, you- oh, you're fat. My cat is fat. There's no other excuse why I failed that. I should have jumped far enough. Uh. Nope. That's good enough for now. Finally! Now we can actually see what's happening. I'm gonna be editing out all of the um, hunting that I've done. Because like I said, I don't want this episode to be a hunting episode. So I'm not going to show the hunting. Um, or the slow walking. Hold. Strange ru runes appear upon the pillar. You read them. My cat can read apparently. You have done well, but there remains one thing I lack. Seek the purple jewel in place of healing and contemplation. That didn't rhyme. For some reason, I really anticipated it to rhyme, and I'm actually disappointed. Journey to the hollowed garden to restore balance to this pillar. Alright, let's go tell Coco. Hmm. The hollowed garden? I know right where that is. Of course you do. Imaginary voice inside my head. It's just north of the sacred temple. I'll meet you there, loser. Alrighty. You don't- You're not moving and I'm leaving first, but you'll probably beat me there. Where am I going? Coco, hi Coco. Oh, tra trap door number one. Yay, hi. Hmm. Do you think the arcane pillow wants us to go down these stairs? Only one way to find out. Let's see if the purple gem is really here. Why is the word purple gem green? I don't know, that just seems like- uh, oversight, in my opinion, but that should have- the text should have been purple. Am I overthinking this? Or am I right on thinking that should have been purple? Oh well, let's go down the stairs. Hopefully this is less of a lag. Beneath the hollow garden. Okay, hi Coco. What do you think I'm supposed to do here? This- What a strange underground chamber! Did you notice the door at the back of the room? No, I didn't explore it yet. I talked to you first. Maybe we can open it somehow. All right, Ooh. red, yellow, green, blue, purple. Okay, red, which one of these is red? Red, I'm not sure th what the order is here. Let's go read these texts before I decide to do something. Green is left of yellow. Okay, oh, it's one of these. Okay. Green is left of yellow. Purple has no neighbor to the right. Red neighbors, red's neighbors are yellow and blue. Yellow is directly right of red. Obviously. Blue's neighbors, neighbors green. So green is to, okay, hold on. I was always bad at these. Green is left of yellow. Okay, so... Yellow, green, and yellow have to be right next to each other. So, green, yellow. Purple has no neighbor to the right. So I assume purple goes on the far end. Um, red's neighbors are yellow. Hold on, let's place... Okay, so purple stays to the right. Can I pick these up? Yeah, I can pick these up, but I wanna... I don't wanna... I didn't mean to pick up. I'm gonna pick them all up right now. Um... 
I don't know why purple would be in its original place though. But purple has no neighbors to the right, so purple is the only one that I could leave where it's supposed to be. All right. I don't I don't know why, but that just looked that looked like it wasn't technically on. There we go. That's fine. Purple has no neighbor to the right, so... So that- purple has to be there. Um, red's neighbors are- Red's neighbors are yellow and blue. So... Yellow and blue have to be to the left and right of red. Yellow is directly to the right of red, so... It's red and then yellow's to the right of it. And blue has to be to the left of it, because that's the only thing that makes sense. Uh, what do you say? Blue's neighbor's green. Neighbor's green. So, red. Yellow's to the right of it. Uh, blue is to the left of it. And to the left of blue is green. Oh, that's not what I want. And green is to left of yellow. Ooh. Hold on. Hold on. Red's ne red neighbors, yellow and blue. Red neighbors, yellow and blue. Yellow is directly to the right of red. But green is to the left. Oh, you dick. Green is to the green to the is the left of all of them. Asshole. So red neighbors, yellow and blue. Hold on, let me let me quickly before I place them all all out. Let's make sure I got them right. Blue neighbors green. So blue is what I think it is. I think it's green, blue, red, yellow. That's what I think. So I'm gonna try it. Green, blue, red, yellow. I'm gonna drop yellow here. I'm gonna drop red here I'm gonna go up and hunt soon um, here drop this one then go up and hunt regardless of how correct it is yay I was right Whoa, whatever you're doing, that's working. The door on the oh, back just open. Hold on, I am um, definitely ill. I didn't bring any uh, provisions for myself. So I'm gonna go off and find some because I have 12% of hunger and that's not good. That is in fact the opposite of the word good. I can't eat a firefly, sadly. For some reason, my cat is the one cat in the world that doesn't like bugs. The one time I fail at eating a frog will be right now. Yup. Fuck! I've never- I never fail at killing frogs anymore. The one time I failed was right now. I swear, I'm not doing this on purpose. This is genuinely annoying. Even worse, because I'm about to die. OK. 
Come here. Come here. Get out of the pond. Get out of the pond. Get out of the pond. Woo! Eat. Eat. Alright, now let's find... Let's capture and kill one more thing and eat it. Let's kill this frog. <laughs> Oh, don't come near me, you dick. Why does I have to start over? Why, wait, why did I have to start over? I had him at full and then just suddenly, nah, never mind. You gotta start over, bitch. Capture and kill more thing. And then go downstairs. Leapfrog, but only you die. Leapfrog, but the catch is you die and I eat you. Yep, thanks. Alright, I'm gonna eat this. this episode here I know how mean I went back to the door after hunting just to leave the episode here we'll see what's in this room after this episode um I'm enjoying this so much so far uh, a lot of this is gonna be a lot of the hunting in this is gonna be edited out because like I said I don't want I didn't want this video to be all about hunting but we did do a puzzle and I it wasn't it was harder than the puzzles in illusion but for some reason I f actually figured this one out and I never get the ones that were in, were in illusion because I'm a dum dum. In the next episode, we're gonna see what's in this behind in this room, and we're gonna go give Slip some catnip. Right now, we're at two stars in our relationship with Slip, and I think that's good. So we're gonna we Slip is going to love us, and we're going to have cat babies. It's gonna happen. Then I can get to see what kittens look like in this game, and oh my god, that probably sounds so cute. Ugh. I can't wait. There's so many cool things to do in this game. And remember to tell your friends how much you love them. I love you losers. But don't you dare forget to tell them how much of a loser they are. Can I take a peek? Peek, peek, peek. Nah, I'm not gonna peek.